All right, I just want to do a quick video on an issue I ran into uh, the other day. Uh, this is a model that represents um, something that I was working with. Um, and but what we were trying to do is we were not using a model, okay? So we were working just with, you know, getting, you know, getting information and building um, features based off, you know, probing the part at the machine. And basically, the question I was asked was, you know, let's do a distance from this intersection line to this intersection line. So, you know, I thought, no big deal. Um, I usually work with the CAD model, and I have yet to run into this problem um, on CAD models. So basically, uh, all I did, and again, I have these features here, and I just made a model um, just to have this. I don't have the actual program I was working on, um, but this represents, you know, roughly, well, it doesn't, it's not the exact part, um, but focus on right here, um, that's really what the issue is. This is just a sample I drew up quick and uh, imported. Um, so I went in, went construction, went intersection, um, and I did an intersection between uh, plane one and I did uh, plane two, or uh, plane three, I'm sorry. And I just ended up naming that, you know, Y minus or, uh, you know, Y minus is fine, or X positive in this case. All right. And I need to take another plane here, so I'll do that now. Um, but again, I was not working with a model um, when I was doing this, and that was really some of the core of the issue um, that I was running into. Uh, so let me just assign a strategy here quick, and uh, it doesn't really make a difference. I'm just going to leave them as probing points. Okay. And I'll do another uh, intersection line uh, between the top plane and uh, plane 4. So this will be uh, x minus, okay? So the issue I ran into, and this is what essentially I created, and the issue is I tried to do just a characteristic, a size, and I tried to do a Cartesian distance between um, the two lines, okay? And basically, you know, it would try to guess nominal, but the actual would always be zero. You run it. I was running into a problem where it just wouldn't compute this. Tried, uh, you know, tried, pro you know, projecting it onto this plane. Tried different datums. Wouldn't. Nothing would work. So I had to call. Um, I had to call tech support. And basically, what they told me was these lines. All right. The way the planes were uh, created, given that they weren't, you know, they weren't theoretically perfect like this model is these lines actually intersected somewhere out in space. So if we translated the lines out, they were not parallel. They actually were skewed a little bit and they intersected somewhere, always resulting in actual and leaving <clears throat> this magenta, meaning that it's, you know, you really can't compute it. It's, it's, not, it's not working, it's not gonna work out. So, you know, it, it, was, it was like, geez, what am I gonna do? You know, without a model that really makes it difficult. And me not, you know, I, I usually work with models. Uh, you know, I haven't, with Calypso, I have not used uh, I have not used Calypso without a model since I did training on it. Um, I've always had models, and you know it really spoils you because <clears throat> you have true data. Um, now the the applications engineer did mention that even with the model, um, you know there could be an issue, uh, but he said you know with a, you know it, it's it's not really the model point that was the problem. He uh, he said with a model. It's less likely, um, you you know, you, sh you should have been fine. But he said if they were really skewed, um, you know, exaggerated, it, you know, he's seen issues there. But basically, what he said is because your your data, you know, not being perfect, not coming from a model, coming from the actual part, that's where the problem came from. Trying to use Cartesian distance. All right. So he recommended a couple fixes uh, on this. So again, assuming and I sound like a broken record here, but I'm trying to relay you the information um, and the dilemma that um, I was having and what the fix was. So Cartesian distance wouldn't work. All right. Um, so we're going to leave that for now. Uh, Cartesian distance wouldn't work with these two lines. So I'm just going to click this. And again, with a model, it should work, but I didn't have one. So what do you do? Basically, we need points. So how we get these points uh, depends on where you want the information coming from. Now, I was also, the version I was working on was uh, 2016. And pre-2017, there is no caliper distance. So that's one thing that I'll probably brought up. If you do go to your uh, size standards, uh, you have caliper distance now, 
which would work for this. No problem. Okay. Uh, I do caliper distance. You end up going uh, between the X positive and the X minus. And in this case, since we have our alignment here, um, we can go with the X. Okay. And 1.3. That's fine. Um, this is going to center, uh, you know, and, and that's totally fine. But on 2016, you don't have caliper distance. So that was not an option for me. All right. And that was one of the things I was looking for. Um, didn't have caliper distance. I'm like, oh, okay. None of the other ones really worked for me. I tried simple. All right. And I messed around a little bit of polar, but I knew that wouldn't work. So I'm like, oh, you know, what am I going to do? Uh, so I screen shared with an application engineer and, and I tried doing it over the phone, but I wasn't able to screen share, uh, at the facility I was in. So I ended up, when I got home, I screen shared with him and he said, okay, you need to create points and where you create the points is up to you. Uh, so what he recommended, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I am going to end up doing a new plane. Um, just, just for an example. And actually, actually, I think I might already have one. Uh, so I do have plane two. So you have a couple options here. Uh, I can, uh, one of the options here is going to be, um, you know, doing intersection points. So if we do another intersection and we select one of the lines we did, okay, with plane two, okay, we're going to get a point. So you hit okay. If we do another intersection, and I can copy and paste it too, but I'm just uh, trying to slow down and, and go through the steps. If I do X minus, and plane two, you get two points. Okay. Now you can go to size, distance, and you can do a simple distance if you want. And you can go to the points. And you could pick X in our alignment or you could pick R. Okay. And they're both 1.3. I know 3D is 1.3. They happen to be flat, but the problem is if these were skewed up or down, 3D would pick that up, uh, to my knowledge. So uh, either R or X would work for us, and that is fine. Uh, one of the things that I brought up that I was questioning is, you know, what if you don't want the edge points? You know, what, uh, what if you want the middle? The solution is just to use an offset plane. So if I get back into uh, construction and go with plane with offset, I can select plane two as my feature, and I can just offset it. This part is uh, two inches thick. Um, I'm just going to go one inch, or minus one inch. Okay, and now it's going to be the same thing. I can end up going into construction intersection. All right, feature one is going to be let's say plane with offset. Feature two can be x positive, and you get a point in the middle. All right, I just hit okay. And I'm just going to do that again. I, again, I would normally copy and paste for speed, but I'm doing this, so hopefully you guys um, follow along uh, to what I'm talking about. I'll go back to intersection, intersection four, feature one. I'm going to go plane with offset, and then feature two is going to be x minus. Okay, now you have two points. Now again, you can go here. We can go to um, size, distance. You could do simple distance again, like I showed you, or you could do Cartesian. You're just going to have to project it uh, and align it with the datums, which, you know, some people like it. It depends on what you want to do. I'm going to do feature one as intersection three. Feature two is intersection four. I'm going to do a primary datum of plane one and a secondary datum of plane two. And that's where we're at. Because remember, primary datum is sort of what your projecting to secondary datum is the you know the you know if you were gonna if you were in CAD and you were drawing this out uh, let's say like smart dimension in either um, SolidWorks or MasterCam where you orientate and how whether the dimension is this width or this width that's what you know my, what I use a secondary datum to okay and this is just what it projects to uh, so Cartesian distance is definitely nice because if we were not aligned, you know, X or Y, per, you know, parallel or perpendicular, you, you got problems. It's hard to define it. Um, but in this case, it was irrelevant. You could do simple distance um, or Cartesian. The key here was getting the points because, again, in pre-2017 Calypso, and this will run. Um, I'll run it in Planner now. In pre-2017 Calypso, they do not have caliper distance. So you have to use these methods. You don't have a choice. Okay. There we are there. 
and you'll see we're good to go. And again, the key that I have found with Calypso is that um, e when you're either with the model or without the model, the actual needs to come up. It can't default in some weird number, zero or be blank. This is sort of a, you know, a sign that you are correct in your inputs, uh, what whatever field it is, okay? So hopefully that's helpful to somebody. I know I really got stumped on it and I was not happy about it because um, it should have been simple. And, um, you know, again, uh, being a PC Demus user, that is simple in PC Demus. Uh, I think it's simpler. Um, but again, it's what you're used to. And um, I had to, you know, again, call tech support. They were extremely helpful. Uh, so I, you know, I always, you know, Zeiss's tech support is great. So it was Hexagons. Um, but I just want to give you feedback on this. So uh, in case you're having the same issue I ran into, um, hope this will uh, save you a phone call. All right. Hope you learned something. Thanks.